So this is our sun. It is uh, six centimeters in diameter. And uh, I guess, what, what does our solar system look like if our sun is six centimeters in diameter? How big are the other planets? How far away are they? So uh, our sun, fast fact here is that our sun is an average sized star located in the Milky Way galaxy. There are a lot of stars that are much, much bigger than our sun, and the stars that are smaller than our sun. Ours is kind of right in the middle. So, um, and then down here we have our arrow pointing towards Pluto and Coupier Belt objects. That way, that way. So, uh, let's walk. Uh, so, first thing we come upon is Mercury. And if the sun were uh, six centimeters in diameter, Mercury would be about two and a half meters away from the sun. It would be very, very small. 0 0.02 centimeters, so like two tenths of a millimeter, uh, which is is too small to see. So uh, I didn't really have a way to demonstrate that on this poster. Mercury has no moons, and uh, it is almost tidally locked with the sun, which means it kind of faces the same face towards the sun. It does slowly spin. It takes about 59 Earth days to spin around, uh, but it only takes 88 days to go around the sun. So uh, it's a speedy little speedy little planet out there orbiting the sun. So next up, we come to Venus. Venus is right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to give you the, the forgot to give you the Mercury trivia. Let's do that. So uh, Mercury trivia. Only this planet has a hotter surface temperature than Mercury. We'll lift up for the answer here. The answer to that is Venus. Venus has a hotter surface temperature than Mercury because of the uh, gases that lock the heat into Venus. So speaking of Venus, here we go. So here is Venus. Venus uh, would be 4.66 meters away from the sun. It would be 0 0.052 centimeters in diameter, which is uh, about the size of a grain of sand. Um, I'll zoom in on the fast facts there and take a look at those. And our trivia. Name the only country that has successfully landed a probe on the surface of Venus. And they did so in 1970. The answer to that is the USSR or Soviet Union. There's some actually some pretty cool pictures online of the lander on Venus. You should check them out. All right, so let's move on to the Earth. The Earth is next. And if the sun were six centimeters in diameter, the Earth would be 6.44 meters away from the sun. Uh, as you know, Earth is where we live. It would be a slightly larger grain of sand than Venus. Um, and on average, which planet is closest to the Earth? This one might surprise you. The answer is Mercury. It's actually true for all the planets. Uh, I, I can maybe post uh, in the interesting links thing uh, uh, explanation of that. All right, after Mar Mar uh, Earth, we head to Mars, or the red planet. Mars, at this scale, would be 9.82 meters from the sun. And our Mars trivia. Mars has the solar system's largest mountain. Sorry, I stopped the recording there accidentally. Mars has the solar system's largest mountain. Can you name it? The answer to that is Olympus Mons. So let's just, just kind of give you an idea how far we are away from our six centimeter sun. I don't know if you can see it up there, but it's right, 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 well, right there. So we're about 10 meters away. So our next stop uh, is the asteroid belt. And uh, I don't know if you can see it down there, but it's a ways away. So let's, let's head down to the asteroid belt. We're walking. We're walking. Uh, one thing about the asteroid belt, I know you've probably seen some science fiction movies that have it full and dense of asteroids. That is not the case. Uh, we have sent several probes outside of the inner planets and never have they even encountered an asteroid. It's, it's not as dense as it is made to seem on the movies. But uh, here is our asteroid belt. Uh, it is on average about 17.84 meters away from our six centimeter sun. There are over 7,000 objects that have been identified in the asteroid belt, and they range in size from Ceres, which is about, what, what did I say that was? Um, 946 kilometers in diameter, all the way down to little tiny grains of sand. So we are traveling through the asteroid belt, and it is about as dense as this. And I'll have you look over there. That's not an asteroid, just a rock. All right, so traveling through, we are coming next to Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. And uh, it's actually one you could see if I had something that was about a quarter inch in diameter. So uh, maybe, maybe like one of these stars would be the size of Jupiter compared to our giant six centimeter sun. 
Uh, so at this scale, Jupiter is 33.56 meters away from the sun. And our trivia, can you name Jupiter's largest moon? Jupiter's largest moon is Ganymede. Jupiter has 79 moons. Uh, most of those have been classified and named. There are a few that haven't been named yet or properly classified. And there are probably some that haven't been discovered yet. But uh, So, Jupiter. Let's head to Saturn. All right, we are walking past Jupiter. Heading to Saturn. And you can tell these walks are getting much, much longer than they were when we were on those inner planets. I mean, the, I didn't even really have to walk from Mercury to see Venus. And here we are coming up on Saturn. We are 61.77 meters away from our six centimeter sun. Saturn is smaller than Jupiter, um, but it is very, uh, very not dense. I don't know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not dense, it has a very low density. So Saturn would float if you were able to find a bathtub big enough to fit Saturn in. All right, and Saturn also has a lot of moons, 82 moons. Uh, not all of them have been properly classified and named, but there are 82 that have been discovered and they're working on that classification process. So next we do uh, our longest walk yet between planets. We are heading out to Uranus. And once I get there, I will turn around and show you how far away we are from our sun. You might not even be able to see it on the camera, but uh, we are walking to Uranus. You can also see the story stroll here. So this will be up for a little bit longer. Um, well, by the time I post this video, it will have been taken down for a day. But anyway, story stroll. Here we come up on Uranus. So at this scale, Uranus is 124 meters away from the sun. Just to give you an idea, our sun is up there by the, it's up there, uh, right there by the sign. So we are 124 meters away. Uranus would be 0.22 centimeters in diameter, very small still. And our Uranus trivia, Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. The average daily temperature of Uranus is minus 197 degrees Celsius or minus 322 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty darn cold on Uranus. All right, next we are heading to Neptune. And uh, I will say that officially Neptune is the last planet in the solar system or the furthest planet from the sun in the solar system. There have been uh, lots of controversy about Pluto. I still love Pluto, um, but if we're being astronomically correct, it is no longer a full planet, it is a dwarf planet. So we are heading, again, another very long walk. There's, there's lots of space between these outer planets. You can fit uh, the inner planets in there several times between, between these outer planets. So let's head to Neptune. I don't know if you can see it there, right on the... Right at the edge of the parking lot. Here we go. Here is Neptune. So Neptune is just slightly smaller than Uranus, not by a whole lot, um, but it is 194 meters away from our six centimeter sun. Uh, so our six centimeter sun is right up there by the back of that white sign so uh, we're, we're a good distance away neptune trivia how many human made satellites have visited neptune probably the one that took that picture let's see how many only one voyager 2 visited neptune in 1989 it's the only uh satellite to visit neptune from earth and uh, almost every picture you see of Neptune was taken by that one satellite. There have been some pictures taken by uh, telescopes uh, orbiting around the Earth. But for the most part, pictures you see of Neptune were taken by Voyager 1 in 1989. So, all we have left is uh, Pluto and our other uh, Kupier Belt objects. There have been some other dwarf planets that have been discovered that are smaller than Pluto, but uh, fit into that same classification. So we're now walking across the parking lot, heading towards the tank, which is approximately 253 meters from our 
Uh, six centimeter sun. Oh, sorry, no, my fingers there. And the locks are becoming longer and longer. So let's take a look at Pluto. Uh, Pluto has five moons. Um, actually, I think three of them were only recently discovered in the last few years by a uh, said the New Horizons satellite that visited Pluto. Looks like our Pluto's a little tippy there. Let's see if we can stand Pluto up. So we are now 253 meters away from the sun. Pluto would be 0.1 centimeter in diameter, so you would not even be able to see it if I were to be able to represent it. Um, a day on Pluto it takes about six hours for Pluto to spin around, and it takes a whole 248 of our Earth years for Pluto to make one orbit around the sun. Our Pluto trivia. Pluto was discovered on which date by astronomer Clyde Tombow? The answer to that is February 18th, 1930. Pluto was discovered. So Pluto didn't even get one entire orbit around the sun as a planet. So kind of sad. So we are right at eight minutes, which is good because I wanted to talk a little bit about that number. It takes about eight minutes for light to travel from the sun to our Earth. So light that left the sun at the beginning of this video is just now getting to us. So that kind of shows you how far away things are uh, in space. So I don't know if you get quite the scale, <coughs> excuse me, uh, from this walk, but uh, it just kind of gives you something to think about. So here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to walk back, I'm gonna, but I'm going to time lapse it so you kind of uh, so it goes kind of quick. So uh, thank you for checking out the solar system with us in Veterans Park. And I hope you are enjoying Space Camp.